Hey, the GoPro works for once. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say for this video. Oh, licenses. That was all the fucking custard creams you pulled over me there. <laughs> then I clapped. It fucking. <laughs> all right. Uh, Wello. That's where we're going. I oh, love you too. What day is it? Friday. The third. Third. It's. What would you say, temperature-wise? Okay. It's not that cold. It's summer now. Is it summer yet? Spring. Is it still spring? When's it summer? Next end of May, start of June. So when I go to the CT. Yeah. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, let's talk about licenses. Specifically, I might go into like the full bike license, but specifically A1, A2. And why it's a waste of time and it just does not work. <laughs> Literally yesterday, I have to give a shout out to Callum again because he uh, came to the rescue for my sprocket and chain. So I've gone one up on the rear, one down at the front, so we got a bit more torque. Just because, this is going to sound silly, but it really didn't pull off the line very well, this bike. Like, you try to give it some off, like, from the red light, and it was nothing, nothing, nothing until you hit about 5,000, then it hits. So I just wanted that extra little oomph, and it, it do you know what, it still it. I'm going to do a whole video on why the UK laws or motorcycle laws are just they just don't work but that's gonna be a separate video this is literally gonna be just talking about the A1 and A2 now if you don't know what that is I'm gonna do a brief description of it just to explain what it is so the A1 is for when you're 17 or 18 the maximum CC bike you can have is a 125 and the A1 you have to do the theory test a module 1 and a module 2 same as an A2 license so a mod 1 is you do an off-road style type stuff so like slalom, u-turn, that kind of stuff oh, pardon me the module 2 is a 30, I think a 30 minute drive on the road being assessed um, and then after that you can ride your 125 on motorways you won't have L plates. Um, what else? Uh, you can carry passengers. And that's pretty much it, right? Now that might sound, oh yeah, I like the sound of that, you know, do my 125 license at 17 and then go on the motorways with all the cars and stuff. No, don't just don't for a start for me to go to this bike I had to do my mod 1 mod 2 again just to do the mod 1 and mod 2 and a bit of training I didn't need the training but it was just a more of a refresher time type thing right it cost me more uh, 500 quid just over 500 quid to do all of that to do a test I've already done right so if you imagine you've done a CBT which costs about 100 quid you've then done your A1 you then get to 19 you do your A2 and then you get to 21 and you do your full A license right those three that's 500 quid each that's uh, 1500 quid you've just spent on a bike license not even a bike a bike license and then you add 100 quid for a CBT or two if you started at 16. Well, no, because if you do it at 17, then you don't have to do you don't have to do one. But still, right? So 1,600 quid to do all them licenses for a license. It's ridiculous. It really is. Okay, so don't bother with that. You might you might then think, oh yeah, but I want to do long distance stuff. I want to go on the motorway on a on a 125. Don't. Okay. These 125 bikes, right? I had a KTM Duke 125. It's light as fuck, yeah? I used to take that thing on dual carriageways. It wasn't too bad, don't get me wrong. But you're pinning the shit out of it at 70, you know? And you, like, it's, there's no point getting into the fast lane. You're gonna have to stay 
in the slow lane on the left and then occasionally overtake but it, it, you have to judge so much to, to work out what like to overtake if that makes sense like you've got to plan well ahead because you've not not you, you've not got that torque at 70 mile an hour you can't just go whoop and past it it doesn't work with a 125 it just doesn't you've got to rub the shit out of it for a start because they're so light you get a fucking big ass truck coming past you and you get blown all over the place I'll see if I can put in a video of me on my Grom when I took that on the motorway I narrowly missed that fucking pothole that pothole would have ended my life I don't think so holy shit oh my god there we go that's better oh my god the wind is ridiculous Come on, little girl, we can do this. If only I had a drone or something to show you a third person view of me, because I'd fucking love to see that too. There's this tiny little bike on the motorway just tucking down, pinning it. My god that was scary pinning that thing at 70 mile an hour overtaking trucks you are getting blown all over the place you're so small they can't see you so don't like just don't bother with an a1 license right passengers okay you want to carry your mate don't just like because if you're 17 18 you've not got that experience on the road yet so there's really no point in doing it. Like if you're if you're older than 17, 18, do your A2, right? Well we're gonna get onto that, but just do your A2. Okay? If you're even older than that, if you're 21, just do your A2 still, right? 24, just do your direct access. Just go straight and just get a 300, right? But I'm gonna do a video on don't buy a 300 either. But <laughs> So just don't bother with the A1 license. It is a waste of money and time. Just stick, stick with L plates. Stick for learning for two years on a 125. You're not missing out on things. Like if you really want to carry passengers, just get a car. You can carry more than one passenger then. Like yeah, the training and that, like doing lessons and that might end up being more than doing your bike license but still I, I, I just don't see the point of doing an A1 license now I, I, I expect I will forget stuff in this video so comment down your feelings your thoughts on the A1 license and I'm sure something will pop in my head and I can explain it better but just don't bother with an A1 license now an A2 license so that's when you become 19, or well you are 19, right? 19 till 23, because I think 20, is it 20, 24 you can do your direct access, so anywhere between there, pardon me, you could do your A2 license. So I say you've done your, your 17, you've held your CBT for two years. Now for an A2 license, you, need, you already need to do a CBT, so you've got to do your CBT anyway. But that's a piece of piss. If you don't know what CBT is, it's literally compulsory basic training. It's just training. It's not even a test. It's just training for a motorbike. Okay? They teach you how to change gears, all the basics, right? The A2 license at 19 allows you to have a bike with 47 brake horsepower or less. Okay? There's power to weight ratio as well and all that malarkey. It's ridiculous. Um, and you can have a bike that has 94 brake horsepower and restrict it down to 47. It can't be more than 94. 94 is double 47, so you can't have anything more than double 47. Pretty basic. Why it doesn't work, okay, and why it's a waste of time, okay. Now, considerably, yes, I've done my A2. I wanted a bigger bike. It's fair enough. Now, personally, I don't think it's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It's fucking expensive. Again, 500 quid plus for training and all that. It just doesn't. It's, it doesn't work. It's not policed very well for a start. 
Yeah. Right? You go you go out, you buy a Bambit, 600, right? They have... I don't know. Let's say, I, I actually don't know how much horsepower they make. So 60... There's 60... Between 60 and 80, right? I don't know why I'm going so slow. Um, between 60 and 80. You then have to restrict that down to 47 to make it legal, right? For one, most insurances will not ask you if it's insured. The last year, have you got a full license? Technically, an A2 is a full license. It's just restricted. Um, you can let them know that that it is a restricted. The bike is restricted. But they, 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 they can't ask you for a certificate because there is no law to prove that it is restricted. Right? If you get pulled over, they might give you a date to go get it checked or whatever. You, th they can't like. You, th you can just, well they can, but you can just put in buy a restricted kit for like 30 quid off eBay fit it, done job, it's, it's restricted then like they, it, it just it's so badly policed most police don't even know, you hand in a license, they look at it and that's it they won't look on the back and look, oh an A2, that means you're restricted, is this bike restricted? you go, yeah, done job, they won't even bother because it's so, you've, they've got to go out their way so much just to prove that a bike's restricted and it's going to cost them more money and resources and it's just, they, they won't bother most of the time. So most people do not restrict their bikes. So what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of having this A2 license? Why can't you just go up? Why can't you just go straight to a bike of your choice? And they, they say, oh, you know, safety reasons and you know, all that kind of malarkey. But at the end of the day, it's, you're only gonna go as fast as you twist that wrist, right? So if you're an idiot, and you go from a 125 to a litre bike, and you end up crashing into someone, that's your fault, you're stupid, you're an idiot, you didn't take care, you didn't... Like... You need to respect the bikes, right? And yeah, most people won't be like that, you know, they'll show off with friends and that. But... If you buy, at 17, if you buy a car, a one litre car, there's nothing stopping you from then jumping onto a big ass say three litre, or even like fucking, yeah, three, let's say a three litre BMW. There's nothing stopping you. Or, for instance, an F-Type. A rear-wheeled F-Type that decides he wants to come round a roundabout uh, in the rain and put his foot down and end up almost hitting me and uh, writing off the van behind me. Because he... Oh, I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. Um, because he, he, he's never rid, uh, driven a rear wheel car before but there's nothing stopping them I believe there is a law you can jump off bub because I'm just stopping here finishing off the video um, you look very tired are you tired? Oh, okay Relax, woman. I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there is a law. Whoa! <laughs> I pooed a little. Um, I can't even get the kickstand up now. Um, I think there is a law, so you can't. You have to be 24 or whatever to buy a brand new, say, F-Type or whatever, because of the brake horsepower and stuff. But like, you could buy it secondhand and. There's you know, I don't think there's actually a law. I, I don't know specifically, but I wrote some bits down on my phone, so let's just make sure I got everything down. But you can, you can see what I mean. It's it's just not policed very well. Now, I think, yeah, it's a good thing. Ugh, my voice break. It's a good thing to have an A2. If you cannot, it gives you that experience with a bigger bike and you work your way up. But it just, it's not policed very well. The A1 license, don't even bother waste of time it's silly don't just don't 
the A2 license do it but the government need to sort it out because it's just silly it just doesn't work for them so there is no legal this is an old thing but there is no legal requirement for riders to have a it's now 47 this was the old license certificate there is no law for that so you don't insurance most insurances won't even accept a certificate that you can buy off eBay for like 30 quid yeah there you go claim will not be rejected because you don't have one police nor insurers regard them as proof of motorcycle restricted there is no industry standard of what they look like or who can issue them examples can be bought on eBay for any bike for 18 quid and we're going to the stag which is that pub which is really nice but that's what I mean it's so badly policed they need to sort it out or they just need to do something better like it just doesn't work another video I'm gonna do is about the whole licenses and why all of them don't work why going from an A2 to a full bike and doing the test you've already done is a waste of time but I'll explain that in a different video but that's that's my thoughts on the A1 and A2 license and why I think the A1 is a waste of time and the A2 really needs to be sorted out but yeah I think that's everything I'm going to do another video now uh, and I'll probably head back into Bath. Let me know what you think down in the comments, what your opinions are on the UK licenses and stuff and I'll get onto that video of the four licenses and whatever. But the next video, stay tuned for that, I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't buy a 300. So, yeah. Should I let you ride? I'll get on the back. Yeah? yeah? Sure. Come on. You will, this bike's really low. Like, surprisingly low. I would have liked you to get on my Ducati, that would have been funny. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm buying stuff. <laughs> ah, you're crushing my penis. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Did you burn your foot again? Oh, my days. The problem with the Jixer, the exhaust is there. And... That's her old burn, which is going to scar. Where did you get that? Oh, right across there. That's not too bad. That's not going to burn like that one. That one blistered straight away. That's because I don't want to miss there. That's when you can sit on that She's a donut. Anyway, guys, this video's been long enough already. Uh, it's been... I can't read. 20 minutes! Jesus, it's going to be fun to edit. Alright, I'll see, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.